Home Design this morning. We are joined, as always, by Hamish Dodd. What have you got today to show us, Hamish? Well, as you'd, uh, you'd know well, Mike, yes. probably. Yes. Um, sometimes you jump up out of the shower, you like to wander around the homestead. Oh, know. yeah, and I fell washing. So why are you assuming do. that I don't know what it's like? Well, you have young sons. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Mo moving along, move, moving along. Okay, what I've got something here for you is um, there's three different ranges from a company called New Decor. Okay, and what they are: uh, frosted window tints, and um, and we'll call them uh, well, something to cover your kitchen cabinetry and stuff. But we'll get onto that later on. Okay. So, first things first. We have a window frosting. Now, they come in varying levels of tint. So we're going to use this as, uh, say, in bathrooms where you need privacy. Uh, you might want to use them in, uh, say, the kitchen area. Right. Cause, let's face it, we're all living more and more on top of each yeah. other yes, now. Definitely. And, and this is becoming an issue. Is it a more cost-effective way than obviously changing It's a much out? more cost-effective yeah. way. I mean, because, of course, one can do it themselves. Sure, you want to peel one open. Peel yeah. that open, Mel. Can I, what can I help? And um, I'll peel one open just to give you a little indication of the oh, sort on. of... Transparency yep, gotcha. you have through them. Okay. See, so like there we go. Oh, that's great. So that allows the light to come into the room. Yep. It gives you privacy, and that's exactly what I did in my bathroom because I've got a low window, and when you're standing in the shower, everyone from the street can see. So I just frosted it up with that. We were just talking about that. Yeah, right? that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's the stop the Due to the complaints that I received. Um, yes. and just like, yep. and just like sellotape, I can't find the end. You of can't find it. Allow me it. to assist yeah. you, mate. Oh, no, you got, 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 got it, it right. Hang on. Hang okay. See, so this one here is not as thick. You see, so you don't have to have it as a complete sort of block out and just have light shining through. You can vary the levels of it. Nice. Now, the other thing about them is they can be used in wet areas. So, uh, for example, you may have a shower yes. and uh, it may so. be clear glass and I don't know. You're a little more modest, mm -hmm. perhaps, than Mike and I. Uh, and you could put a modesty strip around the shower. Right. So you don't have to do the whole thing, you know. Certain levels. Some people, yeah, the modesty <laughs> strip. At certain levels. Right, well, I hope it comes in bigger rolls than this. Yeah. <laughs> all the way to the floor, Mike. All the way to the floor. <laughs> Wow. Okay. okay, what else have you got? So that's our frosting. Bring us back. Okay, so, the, yeah, so these are the frosted ones. So other applications, of course, would be, say, at your front door. Right. A lot of houses have got, you know, glass panes down the side. Can be tricky to window dress because yeah. uh, if they're narrow, um, I really don't want to see some curtain this wide. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Yeah. yeah. Um, and putting a blind in can be tricky as well. Oh my goodness, these are the coloured ones now, okay? Right. So okay. we have this one here for you. It's a little hard to see, of course, because it's on the backing roll. But this is like a frosted glass version of it. Oh, it's yeah. like a stained glass window. Yeah, so these are the patterned ones. These aren't frosted, they're patterned. So they're going to let the light through, and it's a chance for you to dress up your room. Oh, there, there it is we on go. screen. Look yeah, at there it is on screen. So you can see the, the effect you can get. Awesome. Okay. Now, That's pretty cool. This is I, I like this one quite a lot, actually. This one works for me. Um, and Dear Jazz, our producer, her mother used this one. So I'm going to peel this one. This one mm -hmm. has dandelion seeds. There we oh, go. Look at the window. Oh. I thought it was kind of pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, so these will be great for those areas where you've got windows or glass doors. You don't actually know they're glass doors and you run into them. That's right. And there's a safety aspect of yep. them. And, of course, if you do have an older window, uh, this, of course, it will hold the glass together should a child run oh, into them. yeah. So you can use them across... You know, strips as so um, something to denote, hey, look out, kids, there's a window. Um, application wise, you, you, anything you have to do, or is it pretty easy to get on? No. Now, now well, the answer is yes, it is very easy to do yourself. Crikey, Dickens, look, I'm making a mess of that, yeah. aren't I? Uh, they are easy to put on. You do need to make sure you've got a clean, dry surface before you apply it. But mm -hmm. other than that, it's a DIY job. Right. You don't need a man mic. Nice. Well, and that's you couldn't even find the end to peel it. Yeah, you might see Yeah, well, there could be an bit. issue there. But it, it, it's simple, it's easy to do. If you were feeling talented, mm -hmm. I would like you to do this, is to sometimes put a little 10 mil cut around the outside of it so it stops 10 mil short of the frame. Right. Reason for this is sometimes frames, old timber frames, are a little bit skew with and they don't quite sit right. It sort of shows that up. So if you can do that, oh, I'd be mighty impressed. You know what I did? Fancy. You know what I did? Here's a little tip for you when I frosted my windows. Yeah. I actually got newspaper out and cut the piece of newspaper to fit the window and then used the piece of newspaper as my template. That's what I did. That is Mike genius. Mike is a DIY maestro. See, I'd be just like holding it up and trying to cut at the same time to get like a nice clean line. <laughs> what is this one here? Right, yeah. OK. This is quite cool, OK? So this is a timber print okay. finish. Now, this is a little more heavy duty than our window film. Right. Okay. This is decor film. This yes. is, yeah. And this here you can put over the top of, say, kitchen cabinets that are yes. looking a little bit worse for wear. You can nice. dress them up with this. Maybe nice. a piece of furniture, side table. Even if you're just doing the top, because you can get marble finish as well. So if you had an old white 
um, I don't know, an old white table. You can put a marble finish on it, which is a bit more fashionable. Beautiful. Hey, where can we get them? Okay, you can go to, well, basically all the hardware stores, Bunnings, Mitre 10, um, Placemakers, uh, the works. But you do need to check um, that they have got the ones you want in stock because they vary. So you can go online, so if you're online and have come. a look. And I have a memory like an absolute service. You need to windowfilm.co.nz. Windowfilm.co.nz. You are Have a look, see what they've got. Hey, nice. Mitch, thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, good Always work. fun. A great pleasure having you in the studio.